Of course, the French election was not stolen. But MAGA's scared, and it's already pushing that narrative in American conservative circles. Why would MAGA care? Why would MAGA be so afraid of the result in France? Well, polling showed that France's election would end in a far-right majority. Instead, the left and center parties organized. They showed up to vote, and they worked together to claim the majority away from that far right. And this isn't the only place where this has happened. In the UK, conservatives were worried about the election as people got to see what it was like under conservative rule. And there was quite a bit of damage, quite a bit of damage through things like Brexit. And quite a few people from the conservative party in the UK actually traveled to America to work with Donald Trump. Now, the conservatives were worried they might lose or at least lose a few seats, and instead they were absolutely and utterly crushed. The left and right showed up to make sure they didn't keep power. Some of the lowest amount of conservative seats in two centuries. Now, it's not shocking that the party in power switched, but two centuries low? That's not good for them. Now we have America. Much of the polling is showing Donald Trump is ahead. Some of that polling, if you look into how, you know, they got that data, it's actually extremely flawed. It's actually insane to me that some of these polls are allowed to be put out there. For example, there are polls that say that they only call landlines during midday and they only call once. So who is home during midday and answering phone calls on their landline that they own? Elderly people, by and large. Now, so those polls are basically completely removing any younger people. But, but, um, let's say they do say, well, we take age into account and then we do some math and extrapolate for percentages for the whole country. What is exactly going to be the demographic of the young American who has a landline and is home midday and is answering the first phone call? I guarantee you that it's not going to be an American representative of the average American of that age. It just simply isn't, not in 2024. And this extreme flawed polling happens on the right and the left, but it seems to me at least that when I dig into the polls that are showing Donald Trump really, really far ahead, that's when I start finding more stuff similar to that where I go, that makes no sense. Because young people just aren't going to be replying to these polling tactics like my phone right now if you were to call me i don't even get your message if you aren't in my contacts you are blocked i'll get a voicemail that's just how that works it's built into the phone now multiple mag figures i get the feeling are very very worried because they have already started calling for a january 6th style event this early um, the Heritage Foundation is making statements such that the second American Revolution will remain bloodless if the left allows it. So, like, basically they're going, in my opinion, uh, don't fight our violent takeover. Yeah, that's not a good look. Um, Trump's getting worried and trying to separate from the far-right extremists in some way, uh, specifically Project 2025 right now. Now, Project 2025 was directly promoted by his people. He's spoken at events with the leaders. Those leaders have credited him for it. And now he's trying to claim like he doesn't know about it. As if, like, his policies don't match up with significant portions of Project 2025. And his advisors weren't involved in Project 2025. And his spokesman wasn't, spokesperson wasn't involved in Project 2025. Like, the connections are there. The things that he has the Supreme Court doing match project 2025 um <laughs> but hey i mean him saying he doesn't know about it is common right he claimed to not know about no e Jean carroll claimed at one point to know nothing about what epstein was doing uh claimed to not know about the stormy daniel payments not know about stormy daniel uh, uh, Danny daniels like he doesn't he does this all the time if he if he finds something indefensible trump's defense is i didn't know about it new york he got all these problems with his business i didn't know about it every time that's his that is his there is indefensible there's nothing i can do he claims he didn't know about it but yeah i i've been digging on social media and there's a lot of real fear starting to show up in maga um a lot of them have have openly started questioning whether they're living in a bubble 
that maybe everyone doesn't support Trump. That maybe he's going to lose. That maybe um, people don't care that Joe Biden's old. Maybe people don't care that it's Joe Biden running at all. Um, I saw someone say something like, the Democrats could replace Joe Biden with a hamster and he might win the election. Yeah. <laughs> Being real. Because kind of like the UK and kind of like France, it's a unified front against Trump, against the far right. That's kind of what's happening in America as well. So I don't like Joe Biden as the candidate. I don't. Uh, how damaging is that actually going to be come, you know, election time? I don't think it's really going to be that damaging because the opponent's Trump. Like, he, he is the unified front. He is the thing causing people on the left to really want to show up and vote. He's the one causing people on the left to really want to show up and organize. And now we have Project 2025. And Trump's going to try to distance, but, you know, his supporters have listened to him in the past. They know, a lot of them, that he was, you know, supporting it. And they're finding out some of the features of Project 2025. Like, one of the ideas in it, if I'm remembering correctly, was that public schools would mean that your child has to have a military service. But if you're paying for your own child's education, they get to skip that. But also wanting to get rid of VA benefits and things like that, you know, stop basically everything to help the vets once they get home. That's in Project 2025. It's in there. You can, you can look it up. It's a public document. That's, that's the crazy thing. The attacks on the veterans and the education system and, of course, oh, well, you, you, unemployment, you know, maybe they'll go after that, you know, food stamps, yeah, of course. And, it, of course, a lot of people, and you see it all the time, They'll be angry about people on food stamps while they themselves are on something like food stamps. And the idea for a lot of them is that they don't like someone might be abusing the system and the other people shouldn't be on it. But their food stamps are different. Well, don't worry. Uh, programs like Project 2025 aim to get rid of it for everyone. <laughs> there are so many people that would literally lose their homes due to Project 2025. Thank God, Project 2025, you know, the Supreme Court and Trump's Supreme Court, you know, he got these people in power that they uh, made it okay to jail someone who's homeless and has nowhere to stay. So they can then, you know, work in a private prison. Like, it, it, Project 2025 is disastrous for Trump in a lot of ways because all you have to do is look it up. They released it. Because I don't think they ever thought people would look into it. The average American would look into it. And they haven't. To be honest, they haven't. Until now. And why is it now? Well, partly I think it is because France and the UK have shown that if you put on a unified front, you can hold back the tides of fascism. Fascism. 